What's going on YouTube? I hope you guys are having an amazing day. In today's video, we're going to be playing Envy during a scrim yesterday. They were using the one burst LMGs, the dual and pistols, all of that nonsense that people have been using lately. And this was all just started yesterday, you know, before that. Everyone was having so much fun. I was having a blast on this game. And now I'm getting completely bullshitted. And now I, I hate complaining about stuff because I'm the last one to complain. I actually used a sub for the most part on this map. And I was wrecking. We managed to win this map. It was a very intense close match. So I hope you guys enjoyed the gameplay. But really what, I, really what I want to talk about is, you know, about the whole protect and ban system. And about all this complaining about the LMGs, thermites, and all this stuff. And I feel like it should be addressed correctly, appropriate, you know, on a video. And that's what I'm doing here, you know, I'm not complaining about anything, I'm not bitching about anything, I'm the last person to do that stuff. I know a lot of players have been complaining, uh, bitching, and all this stuff that I feel like it just, it's handled the wrong way. Like, I, I remember pa um, Parasite was complaining on Twitter about how good their mites are, and I completely agree with him, you know, I'm not, I'm not denying it, you know, they are good, they block a doorway. Not, not necessarily when it comes to killing people, it's not the best, because they can just run away from the fire, but the fact that they could can block a doorway for a couple of seconds and pretty much not allow you to run in the hill you know it's kind of it is a little op and the fact there is no counter it but we'll talk about that very soon so i remember him talking about that you know i pretty much told him that you know just, i'll just play smarter i'll find a way around it you know pretty much saying like i'm not gonna make excuses about it i understand they are pretty good but i'll find a way around it so I feel like a lot of people have been complaining, and I do agree, you know, these, the way we're playing right now is not really fun, dude. Like, I, I it's, it's just not, man, like, I was having so much fun the past couple days, and then we started playing like this yesterday, and I, I mean, I still enjoy it, don't get me wrong, you know, we're still putting close maps, you know, I, I'm barely, we're not really using any of the gay stuff except for thermites, and then I think uh, Dito or Saints are using the LMGs, but that's pretty much it, like, we're not really stooping to that low level, and I just feel like, it hasn't been fun, and a huge reason is because it's it's just been really stuff that are really OP'd. For example, the one burst LMG, you know, you shoot someone, he automatically one bursts you with an LMG that has the same movement as a sub in AR, and they could get great position before you could even get there. And it's just, it's really unfair. So, first off, I want to be talking about the, the things that are OP'd, and a huge reason why they are OP'd. So, th there's two, I would say two main things right now. It's the LMGs. And a huge reason is because, well, for one, uh, their aim down sight is slightly slower than the AR or sub. So it kind of, cause that's kind of understandable. And the reload time is obviously longer. But they do have a bigger clip. And they do run at the same speed as a sub or an AR. So there's no really, like... There's no really downfall of running an LMG. It's pretty much running an AR. And it's just stronger. It kills faster. And you know, there's no downfall about it. Like... It, it needs to, in my opinion, it needs to be changed. The LMG should be nerfed a little bit. At least the movement to it, it like, has to be a lot slower than an AR, in my opinion. And the movement's really slow. Not people are barely going to use it anymore because you do need to run around the map. You do need to get in good positioning. If you don't have that, then why even use the LMG in the first place? You know, people rather use an AR. They rather use the XR2, the Shiva, all that stuff. So that's a huge reason. Now, Thermite nades are the next thing. Uh, I would I don't mind thermites, but like I agree with a lot of pros. They should have a perk to counter it For example flag jacket uh, flag jacket doesn't do anything to it right now if flag jacket were to do something, you know You know reduce the damage highly because you're running through the fire You know like the thermite has to reduce the damage a lot just like it does for frag if it's the same percentage That would be great something like that. I mean that would be the main way or I don't know just figure out some way to counter it with a perk that would be great if not, you know, it's 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 really OP in my opinion right now. It's a really good thing. And I love using it. You know, I, I've been using it once I found out about it. It's been really fun. It's really great. But other than that, uh, those are the two main things that I think need to be a fix and nerf. I think everything else is pretty balanced. And obviously, you know, the the sentries and guardians, in my opinion, like this, I, like, this is where, where my dilemma is, like, Yes, they're hard to break sometimes because you need to EMP them and people just throw trophies on them and usually they're across the map and like how do you get into that position when there's an AR with a Shiva or an LMG just pre you or whatever the case is. It's kind of hard to do that. But then again, you know, you can kill them with your specialists, with streaks sometimes. Like I've got my war machine and yeah, the 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 sentry might be shooting at me, but at least like I kill him with the war machine. Like I'll kill it with the war machine before I die and I'll take it out. But overall, I do think sentries and guardians aren't that competitive. 
it's it, there is a counter to it but having like a machine that can can map you and hold down a huge position you, like i don't know i just find like it's pretty cheap uh in my opinion like i remember black ops 2 we played with it for the most part and then like halfway through the game we finally said you know we should ban this it's just it's way too good and people will just camp with it you know especially in ctf people just throw trophies just camp with the century and you know that was a huge problem and I, I i don't know i don't really mind it you know it's not that big of a deal to me so i don't really care but i do think it will be the game will be a little bit more enjoyable if you don't have a sentry you know somewhere you can't push all because of a an ai you know just shooting the shit out of you you can't move from your position now what obviously with the ban and protect system in effect now it's going to be really good we could ban a lot of things that we maybe the team doesn't like or what you disagree on but obviously there needs to be some things that are banned already for example i think the main things are uavs counter uavs uh shock charges c4s uh those are like the main things and then if if for example the thermite does not get nerfed or if uh countered by some sort of perk i think it should be banned as well and then lmgs like like i said if they don't get nerfed or like change which i'm i have so high like so much high hopes for this game like i know they're gonna fix it you know whatever it is so i'm not even gonna go there i'm pretty sure von the is gonna fix the lmg maybe make the movement slower if not then you know i don't know what's gonna happen you know i feel like everyone's gonna use it and i do feel like it's gonna be nerfed it should be nerfed and he's gonna help us out so i'm not really gonna talk about that part but you know the basics things like the rocket launcher c4 shock charges uavs counter uavs uh care package and uh, C4s those do, and those are like the main things that should be permanently banned everything else Obviously does not matter. I think definitely like For everything else it comes down to picket bands, you know band trying to counter the other team or like to strategize You know what should they ban? Uh, way to counter the other team or make them feel uncomfortable or something you're used to and stuff like that It's gonna come down to that. That's what picks and bans should be all about, you know strategy and it shouldn't be like banning something that should be already banned in the first place right so with that being said i have high hopes for this year i know that you know we have we have so much potential with this game i know we have full support i know like there's so much things going right that you know i i'm positive everything's gonna go smooth you know we're gonna fix the little things they're gonna fix the they're gonna nerf the guns or whatever needs to be nerfed or they're gonna because I heard that Von der Hart doesn't really want to ban anything. He wants to have everything there. Obviously, I think we should still have the auto bans, like the UAVs, all that stuff. But for the most part, he wants to keep everything else. And if that's the case, then we just need to improve them. You know, little tweaks, fix them up a little bit so they can be used. I do want to see a good year of Call of Duty. And I feel like banning a lot of stuff will, would be a step back. So instead of banning those stuff, I'd rather see, like I said, just nerfing them, uh, making the guns a little better. Uh, I'm not better. Make uh, nerfing the like the LMGs, the thermites, like make make their make their a, a counter or some sort or something like that. And w if that all happens, then we're looking at a great year, man. This game is so fun. It's so good. I have nothing but you know positive things to say about this game. The only thing is the way it's being played right now. Like an LMG holding down one door, you can't you can't compete that. That LMG is gonna one burst all three of you. It's stupid how good it is. There's not much. There's like. There's almost no way to compete against it, you know, and the fact that it's almost the same as an AR, people are just going to run that rather than AR, and there's going to be like almost no ARs being ran, so we really do need to fix that. I know the first event that we're having right now, the Invitational, I understand that people are going to use everything, no one has, you know, it's going to it's gonna come down to a gentleman's agreement, you know, FaZe doesn't want to do it, so Optic's not going to do it, and everyone else is not going to do it. So it's understandable, it's going to be used over there for the most part, I'm pretty sure, unless two teams agree other than FaZe to not use it. So it's completely understandable, but I hope after that, things change, I hope things get nerfed, I hope things get improved. And, you know, I'm I'm very really excited for this year, like I said, uh, this game has been amazing, it's been so fun, everything it pretty much is well balanced, other than a little bit of stuff that I talked throughout this video. So yeah guys, I hope you enjoyed this video, this was a gameplay, like I said, against Envy. Uh, I remember Saints and... Uh, Dito pulled out the LMGs because of how good it was with the double pistols. They were using against us a lot throughout the scrim, so we started pulling out as well. Uh, yeah, but other than that, uh, leave any comments down below what you guys think or what you think should be improved or how you think we should go about this. Uh, like I said, we have full support from pretty much Vondahar and everyone else, so I'm pretty sure things are going to change. I'm very excited for this year. 
And yeah, I can't wait to keep making some more YouTube videos. Black Ops 3 has been so fun. I've been loving YouTube videos for Black Ops 3. So yeah, guys, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. This has been your boy, Apti. Hope you guys have an amazing day, and I'm out. Peace out.